Hey guys, it's Bradley. Um, it's Friday afternoon. Uh, I got a package from Brew Tools. Uh, let's open it up and see what's in the box. Got my uh, favorite cleaver here. Let's see how it does. Uh, hope everyone's had a great week. I've uh, it's been kind of a crazy week. I'm actually getting married uh, uh, November 2nd. So I think today is October 4th. So we're getting close. I probably shouldn't be doing beer stuff, but you gotta do what you enjoy, right? Um, was gonna sample some of my uh, California Common style, uh, but the keg just blew, and the last little bit that came out of uh, not so crystal clear. But it's Friday. Box of stuff from Brew Tools still tastes pretty damn good. Could be worse. All right, so. Let's open it up, uh, and it looks to be pretty great. So, what did I get? Um, I got the uh, tri-clamp, the tri-clamp, uh, uh, what's it called, uh, fitting uh, for the temperature probe, at least on the uh, far port, not the pump port yet. But this is one I want to be able to take off and not have to fiddle with the probes cable. So uh, it's nice. It seems like it's heavy. I'll unwrap it. And we'll probably have another video about some of this stuff a little more in depth. But I got one. A um, couple more uh, Brew Tools OEM uh, hose connections because these are just better than the China ones. Take my word for it. Uh, O-rings because... It's good to have extras. Uh, this is probably enough. I think I have two full sets I don't even need. Um, like in the other videos, guys, I've been using keg lube on mine. It works great. I've not had an issue since. Um, unless I'm a better idea, I'd say keep doing it. Um, a bunch of uh, tri-clamp gaskets. Might as well have them. They're relatively inexpensive. And I got a, uh, 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 the MPT mail uh, to try clamp fitting uh, for my new sparge water setup. Let's we'll see how that works. Um, and the last thing in here, who knows if you can see it or not, is the steam hat. Um, I've been curious about it. You know, I've, I've wanted it. I don't have much use myself for the condenser. Um, my uh, range hood, it's a Nexer. If you guys are in LA, um, there's actually a, a distributor slash warehouse. Um, I think my hood, it's 36 inches. It moves about a thousand CFMs. Um, I think I got it for like a hundred bucks. Uh, it had some scratches. It works great. It takes an eight inch duct, so kind of a pain in the ass to, to mount, but worth it. So the steam hat, it's, uh, uh, you know, mine has some little bit of slag on it. Um, and some burrs and stuff. I can see right off the bat. Uh, it's a little sharper than I would care for it to be, especially in here. Um, and yeah, I don't know if that's uh, just heat discoloration on there or what on the welds. Um, yeah, I know these are handmade and these guys try their best, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, it might just be heat discoloration. Honestly, it seems pretty great. Nice, good fitting on it. Um, obviously, this guy will have to be cleaned up, uh, PBW. Uh, the top is just, you know, just regular thin, you know, the same piece they stamp for the lid. Same handles. It has this welded on um, stainless pipe, as well as this four-inch uh, gasket. It comes with this... Uh, this plug that just kind of seats on there like that. Um, it seems, well, it's got hair from Norway, or maybe it's one of my beard hairs. But yeah, that seems to be okay. Um, and then it comes with another gasket. Uh, actually, two gaskets. Maybe one's a spare. That's great. Or maybe uh, they were overzealous and gave me two. But uh, anyhow, definitely, if you don't have one for the other lid, for CIP, this is a must. Um, I think they are 20 bucks. It looks like they give you at least one, maybe two with this. Um, so
So yeah, it's you know pretty decent. Um, I would say for what I've spent on it. You know, some of these issues. Uh, I don't know what it is. I'll grab some close-up shots, uh, put those at the end. Um, all in all, I'm pretty pleased. I did order the other day, and then the next next you know morning, I see when I wake up that they've announced the oxygenation uh, kit. Uh, that's something I was interested in. You know, I guess they can't tell everyone, hey, you just ordered, you may want to buy this. Um, but it would have been nice. You know, I guess that's the way the cookie crumbles. Uh, I would have bought it uh, then and just had it all shipped at once, obviously. Um, anyhow, guys, I hope this kind of uh, helps anyone who's thinking about this and kind of uh, helps guide their decision. All in all, it looks pretty nice. There's a couple, you know, most of that stuff should clean up, uh, you know, with a file. I hope it doesn't hurt the silicone. I'm sure these, if I have any problems, brew tools will help me out and stand behind it. But yeah, here it is. Pretty great. Um, would have liked that not to be so sharp and full of burrs. That that does disappoint me. Uh, anyhow, it's here. I got it. I'm going to try it. We'll see what it does to boil off rates. Um, that was my main thing. Uh, but then I got to thinking, maybe a high boil off rate isn't that bad. Then I can maybe sparge a little bit more, rinse the grains a little bit better. Um, honestly, using less power... I don't really care. I have solar. Um, so I'm not like I'm paying for the energy from my energy company. And even if I do, it's it's very minimal. But anyhow, I am excited about some of this stuff. Um, super excited about this fitting. Uh, I just, yeah, I want to be able to unhook hoses and not have to fiddle uh, with a, a wrench. I know I didn't get the Toolist sensor because 50 bucks, I'll use a wrench for now. Um, but anyhow, uh, it's here. Um, it's, it's pretty good. I, I'm happy with it. Uh, anyhow, guys, thank you so much for watching, and uh, I'll see you very, very soon. Thanks again. And remember, home brewing is good. Thanks, guys. Here's some up-close video of the uh, steam hat, as promised. Um... It's sharp in here. I think the little bits of slag just came off. And the discoloration I was talking about, you know, I don't think that's rust. I think that's just hot heat from welding. I am not a, an expert, but yeah, look at the welds. They look pretty good. Uh, I don't mean to trash talk these guys. They're working very hard building this stuff, you know, by hand. And all in all, it looks pretty great. Maybe I should stop talking. I'll come back with a little bit of video of uh, that new uh, tri-clamp to tri-clamp fitting. All right, guys, I'm back. I uh, wish I had like a turntable. Uh, I'll just turn this with my hand. But it is a very nice looking fitting. Uh, that's a little piece of dirt from machining or whatever goes on. Um, but yeah, I mean, this thing is... These pieces are, are, are very nice. It just needs to be cleaned to be expected. Kind of nice to be able to go over your stuff and wash it up. And then we'll go one more time. Close up on this guy. There's the uh, silicone plug. I thought it was more of a plug. I didn't realize it had a lip. Um, but yeah, maybe I was an idiot. But that's it, guys. Anyhow, I'm really gone this time. Thanks again.